It's been over a year I've been using this X-Clad. I don't think it's as non-sticky as it used to be. And then I have all these burn marks on the side from oil. The guy demoing Hexclad came back to Costco and I was asking him. He actually had Barkeeper's friend. And he said it's safe to use. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try Barkeeper's friend and see if I can get rid of all the burn marks and then re-season the pan and he said to use Scott instead of the regular a steel wool because he said that may cause it to scratch so with these I'm gonna soak it for a while clean it and let's see what happens okay I rubbed in some barkeeper's friend the white powder and leave it like this for a while and then clean it off and see if all those burn marks go away so I've done a few rounds of using the barkeeper's friend and rubbing so far it looks pretty much the same if I rinse it out for the instruction it's apply the powder wait for a minute rub it there's still plenty of this carbon to get rid of. So I don't know how much time or if this is even going to work. I'll give it some more rounds and we'll see. After several, several rounds of cleaning with our barkeeper's friend, the pan is still quite dirty. The fact that I cannot actually use steel wool and have to use this scorch bright. Scorch bright, I don't think is that rough. And if you were using a stainless steel vessel, you would have used stainless steel wool and rubbed it, and it would be sparkling clean. It would be almost like new. Sure, there'll be some kind of like small scratch mark like things that you'd be able to see, but still, the cleaning this is quite a nightmare. Maybe this is not the vessel for daily frying things making eggs and stuff like that i like my eggs fried with oil oil adds taste mm -hmm. anyway so this is how it looks after several rounds and then going through a dishwasher cycle yesterday night i will probably try a few more rounds today uh, my fingers already feels a little odd from all this barkeeper friend although I am using gloves to protect my hand but doesn't seem all that effective into getting these carbons out it's hard for me to tell is it is the barkeeper friend doing anything or is it just the act of scrubbing for a long time that has got it to this shape which is pretty much how it was when it began maybe it's like cleaner in some places okay, after several more rounds of using the after scrubbing it's getting a little bit cleaner I even tried with baking soda and uh, dish dishwasher soap but the barret and the friend does work better but overall um, I don't see myself doing this you know the amount of time spent on this uh, might as well throw this out and buy a new pan. Anyway, uh, I'm still curious how much effort does it take to get this clean. So with all the scrubbing, I think it's finally seeing some light. There's still a lot of dirt on the edges. And I'll probably have to do several more rounds before this clears up. After several scrubbing, I've got it to this state. Even, see I feel like some of the non-stick there has gone. So even with, with just using Scratch Bright, it can cause the non-stick to come off. Anyway, I think that's how much patience I have as far as cleaning this goes. Now to re-season it, and see if it still works we'll fry an egg and check it out 
Let's season it with avocado oil. I can go up to 500. Got my favorite Wilcox egg. We have the seasoned hex clad pan and my ancient stainless steel, stainless steel pan that always looks new and easy to clean. That's it for Hex Club. Next to see the steel pan. Doesn't slide the way it did in Hex Club. Can I flip it? Nope. It's sticky. Took me less than a minute to wash out those burnt oil using the bar tender friend on a steel pan and steel. The other guy, I probably won't wash that uh, or I'll just go through normal washing. Scrubbing, cleaning and all is difficult. So if anyone says that it's glad it's as easy as cleaning a steel pan, that is not true. Next clad is a lot harder.